In this video I'm going to show you how to simplify an exponential expression. And before we begin, first we have to understand what it means to simplify an exponential expression. So there are certain conditions have to be satisfied. So to simplify means we have no negative exponents. And to satisfy this condition, we're going to use the um, definition of a negative exponent as a reciprocal of the positive exponent. And when we have a ratio to the negative exponent, we're going to use this formula. So these are our tools to treat negative exponents. Uh, second condition is we shouldn't have any powers to powers. So no powers to powers. And when we have one, we're going to use the, this property. Uh, next is we shouldn't have any base appearing more than once. So no base appears more than once. So if they do, we have properties of exponents to fix that. These are the properties. And I think there's a fourth condition uh, suggesting that there shouldn't be any parentheses. And so when we have any, we would do either power of a product rule or power of a quotient rule. So that's what it means to simplify an exponential expression. So let's take a look at ours. And right away we see that there are a lot of issues with this one. So we have plenty of negative powers, we have parentheses, we have power to power. So where do we begin? Uh, if you have parentheses and inside of the parentheses you have some expression that can be simplified, you want to start with that expression. So just like with uh, regular numerical expressions, we work from within parentheses out. So we're not going to distribute this anywhere yet. We're going to focus on what's inside of the parentheses. And here we have many options we can perform the division first, or we can uh, reduce this fraction, or we can combine this x, this x, this x, or this y, this y, and this y. So many ways to start the problem. Let's go ahead and start somewhere. Um, so first I want to interpret this division as multiplication by reciprocal. And at the same time, I'm going to take this fraction and reduce it by 6. So the first step will be to rewrite this as multiplication. And since I'm ignoring this exponent outside, I'm just going to keep writing it until I'm ready to take care of it. Uh, the next step will be to perform multiplication. How do we perform multiplication of two rational expressions is just by multiplying um, numerators and denominators. So this multiplication can be done or can be written like this. So we're just going to form one fraction And now uh, we can take care of the negative exponents inside. And uh, 
we don't have to do it right now. We can start combining X's and Y's, but again, many options here. So let's do something. And that something will be taking care of the negative exponents inside of the parentheses. So if we have a negative exponent in the denominator, that negative exponent becomes positive exponent in the numerator. So with that, uh, with this three or two rules, we can do the following. We can move all negative exponents to the opposite side of the division bar. So this y to the negative 1 from the numerator will be moved to the denominator. y to the negative 2 from the denominator will be moved to the numerator. Also, x negative 3 from the denominator will be moved to the numerator. And the last thing would be x to the negative 1 Now we can combine all the x's together, so how many x's we have on top? We have 4, 3, and 1. We can combine all the y's on top, we have 2 and 2, and then we have a single y in the denominator. So computing the exponents, we have 3x to the 8, y to the 4 divided by 4y. Now y to the 4, 4th four power and y can be also combined. So we have this. And now, once we simplified everything inside of the parentheses, only now I'd recommend taking care of the uh, exponent that applies to the entire expression in the parentheses. So now we can apply this power to everything inside. So we have 3 to the negative 2, x to the 8 to the negative 2, y cubed to the negative 2, divided by 4 to the negative 2. Or we could have applied this property when we have a ratio of raised to the negative power, it's actually equivalent to the reciprocal of the same ratio of raised to the positive power. So, uh, that means what? That means we could have skipped this step and write the next step right away. So, it is 4 squared divided by 3 squared divided by x to the 8 to the 2, y to the 3rd to the 2nd. And now we are ready to write the final answer. So if you look at this exponential expression, it satisfies all the conditions. So there are no negative exponents, there are no powers to powers, there is no base that appears more than once, and there are no parentheses. So this expression is simplified. And this is our answer.